So, uh, yeah, we're at State Farm Stadium. State Farm. La Mesa RV, RV Here show. in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, beautiful day. We're in the uh, like middle of January, and it it's, is January 14th. And it's we're in the mid 70s today. Yeah. And we're gonna take a look and see what's the best of 2021. All right, come on for the journey. Let's yeah. look. Cool. So, all right, I need to add a little uh, interlude into the beginning of this video. Uh, we apparently had a lot more rigs that we toured than I've remembered. So uh, we're gonna break this up into uh, multiple segments. This first segment is all of the drivables, as in class C's and super C's. And we have a mid-size, kind of a small, Class A that we're going to be covering in this episode. We're going to be getting into the um, mid-sized tow trailers in the next episode and then finally the big boys in the final episode of this series. Uh, following that will be the long-awaited what are you looking for when you buy a new rig. So that's going to be it for this episode. Delano, oh, D-E-L, okay. It is a class C model, so you have your overhead uh, sleeping and all that. Now, I noticed there's no cooking, really, devices in here. You might oh, that's have, a, that's a stove you top. have a stove top here with a couple of burners, but no uh, oven. But here's the issue. If you're a short girl like me, um, here's your microwave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it is a smaller microwave and stuff, but us short girls we might have a little bit of a problem with this. Okay, you do have your uh, shower and bath, which are separate, and then a nice um, bed back here. Um, it does have a TV back here too, so Steve, I'll switch places with you and you can look back there. And a water closet. Say hi. But it is we get more of a space age looking design. It is more. I was looking at some of the. There's the cab over sleeping. That is cool. That's very cool. Kids would a love that. A moon roof. Oh man. Kids would love that. If I was a kid, I would be all over that one. Yeah. Oh, that's too awesome. I don't think I'd ever close it. Yeah. See the stars at night? Oh my gosh, that's and awesome. You do have, um, like I said, Space Age, which, I mean, you do have quite a bit of, of storage, actually. You have two cupboards here. You have a couple here, a small one here. Um, it is more modern. You have some pull out underneath the seats here. Not very big, Not but there's something there. So, it would be comfortable as a weekend warrior type thing for a family most definitely it's fun definitely a fun little unit let's get the number on this so this is one of the new ones for 2021 it's, it's a delano by yeah, built, thor. built by thor it's 24 rw 24 rw i love i mean i know the microwave is really kind of weirdly placed but i love that front cap yeah the front cap is great my gosh that is so great. cool what we'll kind of sort of storage underneath let's take a look underneath uh, so a few small cabinets. Oh, look! Generator. A generator. How about that? Started. This one has a generator, yeah, that is, which is great. That's really great. That is awesome. Gas bin in the back for barbecue. Mm -hmm. That would probably be good barbecue storage. Yep. More storage, and it looks like equal storage is on this side. The front one is probably your gas. Oh, here's oh, your outdoor water holding tanks yeah sewer outlet connections back here i'm going to take a wild guess at the front is probably your propane and probably your wet bay on the side as well most of these class c's and even class a's are on either the mercedes chassis or the ram dodge ram chassis but you also find ford chassis yes. um Ours is on a Ford. So uh, we, we had a couple of Fords in our time. 
and uh yeah so this is uh we'll do one more here because i just see some things on this one that's pretty cool yeah so this is a 2021 renegade Velago 25 rml let's take a look inside this is really interesting you do not have your overhead here but you do have storage does it go all the way up um yes yeah, that's it pretty does deep. have the it's slant. It's awfully dark, but it's awfully deep. Yeah. And it is on a slant, though. But this is interesting. Sunroof. You do have this, and you have an extra couch here. But here's your bed. Oh, cool. Which is interesting. I'm not going to go ahead and pull it down. Once again, but it if gives you more RV, space. It gives you an idea. But it does give you more space. Um, once again, you do have your cooktop here. Um, Two burner cooktop. Um, and it looks like again, it does have a pop up here. Maybe this is a new thing in but RVs. The no microwave. microwave. It is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> again, short girl problem. Okay. Um, like I said, it is a smaller like microwave convection. also. Looks so, like convection. I don't believe that it is. Well, you may be too short to look to see the back of it. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> um, interesting because you do have a bigger walk-in bathroom in this one. Oh. So, the thing about these two is they are smaller fridges, you know, so you don't have a lot of room in your fridge. Class these are kind of more family vacation, mm -hmm. weekend warrior rigs. They're not really going to be the full-time. Yeah. They're not going to be the full-time living rig. Unless you're single. Um, but the cockpit, very cool. Couple, very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable driving the Mercedes. So, so that is uh, Class C. Show this one off. It's another uh, Class C uh, made by Tiffin called the Wayfarer. Check out the storage compartments. That goes all the way through. That is huge. In fact, it sounds like there's an echo in here. Yes. Wow. Is that what I thought I saw? And it even has a gas bib, so you can put your barbecue right outside this side. Electrical outlets. Comes with a Cummins Onan 3200 generator. Outdoor TV more storage it looks like it's got an indoor vac system it's got an indoor vac that's your uh inverter on the mercedes chassis that <laughs> those emblems are impressive tell me about what you what found inside what i like here is that you have plenty of handles to get in <laughs> it does have an overhead okay and your tv um this is a much smaller refrigerator. It's a Norco. Oh yeah, very, very tiny. Very tiny. And underneath you do have your freezer. Oh, well that's better. For a though. little bit. Put those fish in there till you get home if you don't cook them up right away. Um, it's really neat. It does have a slide out here for extra storage or extra counter okay. space. Again, the Nometic. Two burners. Two burner and uh i guess that's a going thing this must be you know they don't like short girls <laughs> okay um you well, do have some more storage step stool great. step stool okay yeah. now you do have yeah. the bathroom and the shower separate and the bedrooms are it you can either go on the twin side or you can it looks like can you slot, can you pull it together yeah. this is kind of neat because you do have some storage up underneath here there's the table that will go in. Oh, the tool TV in here. Interesting. And then the water closet. And and you got the shower on the other side. Uh, holy ground in two spots that you could put the table. So you can spin your you spin front your seats around mm -hmm. and use that you use the front one or you use this table what's really nice is when you do walk in before you actually get in the rv you have all of your 
your Everything controls you need right, right here. There. Auto levels. I like this right handle. Here. It's very cool. I like Recessed the handle. They in. actually have three. One here, one here, and one outside. Cool. Which really work for getting in and out. But you have your battery. You have all of everything that you need right here. So. One last thing I'm going to take a look at. Because I have a funny feeling. Typical for Class C's. The batteries are under the step. And this one actually comes with two. Which is actually really quite cool. So once again. Tiffin. For 2021 i'm really impressed with the class c uh class c's new for 2021 we found a new class of rv you got class a you got class b you got class c this is class omg it's on a freight liner chassis look at this thing oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah, all sorts of storage under here. These are different banks. Oh no, there's your water holding. Water holding now isn't that nice? You can actually you access, access where that is. Here. These short girls, there are some good things for short girls. Yeah. More bays. So they're not all the way through. At, at least, least not yet. yet. At least not yet. We can be hopeful. No, that's oh, our... Wow. Uh, that's your that's hot our water, water heater. That's here. all our water system heater. Yeah, water yeah. heater. Aqua hot. Kind of stuff back there. And another storage. So storage all the way around. It looks like it. The DynaQuest XL. Wow. 450 horsepower. 1250 pounds of torque. And this is our sewer dump. Wow, nice. Okay, we got to take a look inside now, this thing. Question. Do you need a truck driver's license? I don't know. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. So I just saw this is pre-owned. Okay. So this is not a 2021. This is a 2018, but it's worth taking a peek at because it is insane. Holy cow. Oh, there's a CB, a so CB good buddy. <laughs> buddy. No oven, but you do have... Now, this is interesting because on this one, you do have the, um, this is true induction. So you have induction, oh, induction instead cool. of burners. This is great. So I'm guessing, is that This induction? is a convection oven, yes. It's a convection oven. It is. Definitely a uh, residential fridge. Residential. Bag, huge residential fridge. And, and it's really dark back here, so I don't know if you're going to get to really see. Oh, uh, you have some pretty good low okay, light it, capacity. This one has a washer and dryer in it. Yeah, we've got a washer. And can we still see? Uh, no, it's too dark. No, actually, I'm I am seeing more. Oh. I can see more in this. So you do have. Some wow, I can actually see the bed. Wow, I can't. <laughs> well, I might have to brighten it up in the video. The bathroom is huge. A lot you of know, storage. This Double actually sink. is laid out. Double sink. This is laid out like a class A, but with the front end, it kind of looks like a class C. Like I said, this is a class OMG. And all the storage up above. Storage over the cab. What's that? Okay. On, this is interesting. On the toilet itself, it has what's known as a water saver or a flush. So you've got that two. Oh, types got, of it. got it. Oh, and we have another bathroom. Another bathroom. Yes. See? Oops. We have right there you have it's like two types of flushes on there. I don't know if they have any brand new ones of this style, but Oh uh, they do down here. Two sixty well this is pre owned. This one's pre owned. Let's see if we but can find pretty it right amazing there. to be pre owned. So this is a new twenty twenty one Valencia on the Freightliner chassis. You have outdoor entertainments. All the storage compartments like the other one had. Okay. Let's look inside. So this one's a little bit different. Um, again, your fridge is up here, which is interesting. You do have the microwave, which is a convection oven again. Okay. Three burner stove again. So we have um, a bed over the front cab. Yes. And I'm sure you can make a bed here. 
and I'm sure this transition fit also. This is interesting. Right here next to it, you have all of your devices to plug in, which oh, is cool. really cool. And you also have, it looks like and some over right there. TV over the door. This does come with a washer and dryer, believe it or not. So, which is interesting. Like washer and dryer. Yep, cool. Um, your sink is separate from your bathroom and, and shower area. So, corner shower. Now this is interesting because Queen it looks like bed. hanging closet on both of these. That's awesome. Our closet. And hanging closet for shirts. Looks like a TV. Six. This is kind of interesting. Small, six not doors. quite sure what you would use it for. Actually, it's a barn door, so you. No, it's a barn oh, door. it's just a barn door. It doesn't it's go just a barn bathroom. door. It's not into the bathroom. It's just the barn door. Yeah. Cool. So, this is an interesting way to go with this giant truck. So you. This could, is a Valencia by Renegade. It does have some beautiful lighting. I like the yeah, material. Nice finish work. Nice finish work. So there you got Class O M G. A different looking Class A. It's got this really odd shaped slide. We've got storage underneath. It's kind of a low profile class A. I haven't seen one like this yet. It's called an Axis. It's by Thor. We've got what looks like an iPad or their tablet for the driver. It looks like you got a bed that drops down out of the ceiling over the cab. Anything of interest you want to share while we're spinning around? Um, no, everything's pretty much the same. Um, we have internet on board. This is interesting. 4G internet by, oh, with one wine guard. Whoa. Oh, it's got a wine guard built in. Yeah. It's interesting because your shower is actually a step up. And it's not a bathtub, which you would think. It is a full step up shower. This actually. weird slide basically is the bed is on the high part mm -hmm. and your dinette's on the other. Mm -hmm. Fair amount of uh, closet space and drawers on the back. That's kind of the nice. drawers are quite deep, which is nice. And again, you have more storage underneath. I don't know why they don't take advantage of the whole length. Yeah. I don't know why they don't do that. Interesting. But a little flop, flip up, which is nice, so that you have extra. But for a low space. profile, yeah, so it's funny. Yeah. Just like that other one was like a class A on a big truck chassis. Yeah. This kind of has a class C feel but on a class A yeah. look. Yeah. Thor does make some interesting stuff. I'm gonna go look at some trailers. Yeah, let's go do that. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And also uh, Dawn's thing. Uh, she's not here at the moment. Yes, hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time we post Sundays at two o'clock. So until then, see you on the road. And as Dawn would say, cilantro. Ha <laughs> ha